Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the applications that we will be needing for our PHP workshop series. So the applications that you see are the following. So in here, this is the Notepad++ installer. This is the application that we will be needing as our text editor. So this is where we will code. And here, the Team Viewer is an application wherein we can connect to each other's computers control it uh, this is helpful for us when we need to troubleshoot or someone needs help in debugging and uh, this one is a visual C++ so this is what we first need to install uh, before we install the WAMP server so the WAMP server is a software bundle for web development so WAMP stands for Windows Apache MS, uh, MySQL, sorry, and PHP. So I will uh, talk about this more in our session. And ZAMP, or ZAMP, is, is uh, it's also like WAMP server, but this is for the um, Mac users. So if you are using Mac, instead of uh, installing WAMP, you install ZAMP. It's uh, the same goes, it's like also has the same functionality with WAMP. Okay, so first let's install the team viewer so just double click it and you can see here it's already set or selected to default installation just accept next and select yes And then you will be selecting the second radio button. I want to use the free version for personal use and then click on finish. And then you will see that the team viewer shortcut key is already on your desktop and the application autom automatically open. So this is what it looks like. So we, this will be handy for us in uh, troubleshooting or debugging. And next is Notepad++, double click it. Select, select OK, and then Next, I agree, Next, Next, and you don't have to select this, and then click on Install, and Finish. Okay, so this is what, this is what Notepad++ looks like, so this is where we will code. Okay, just X this one, okay, and then... So, again, like I have mentioned, we first need to install the Visual C++ in order to use the WAMP server. So, this is for the Windows user users. So, double-click on the, VS, the Visual C++, click on I agree, and then click on Install. Click Yes. Okay, so it says here, Setup Successful. Click on Close. So next, after you install the C++ one, you will now install the WAMP server. So double click. So the WAMP server will really take a while to install and even download because of the file size. So just click on yes. Click OK, I accept, next, 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 and install.
Okay, so you will be prompted with the setup here. It says, do you want to choose another browser installed on your system? So, the default browser for this is the Internet Explorer. So, you see here, since Internet Explorer is uh, going to be obsolete in, like, I, I, I think in August. So, instead, you'll be choosing a different browser of your choice. So, it can be, I am using Microsoft Edge and Brave. So, you can change that. Just go to your local disk, go to your program files, and then click on the application file of your browser. So, I will be using Microsoft Edge. And then here, so the default text editor is Notepad. We will be changing it to Notepad++. So, same thing, go to your local disk, program files, and then click on the application file for the Notepad++. Click on next and click on finish. So to check that uh, if the WAMP server works, so let's double click on the shortcut key, key here on the desktop. Click on yes. Uh, this will show this. Okay, and then you can see here on the taskbar that the logo, the WAMP server logo is red. So you just wait for it. It has to turn green. So you just wait for that. Now it's on orange. And it's now green. So when you double click it, oh, I mean, when you right click, I mean left click, sorry guys, and then select local host. So this is what it will look like. And then what, uh, the next thing that you're going to do is go to your uh, go to your local disk and select WAM64 and go to the uh, triple W folder and then create a new folder here and name your folder PHP workshop so in here this is where we're going to start putting the files putting our uh, codes so I hope you um, were able to install it so for those who have Skype or uh, other applications that need a local host what you have to do so the default local host is port 8080 so if in case uh, the port uh, 8080 is already taken for those who have Skype or other application so just go to virtual host management and you can create your own host here so for example you have skype and then um, you will create another host in case the local host doesn't work this one's supposed to work so let's check so local host so here so this is this is what it's supposed to you can you're supposed to access the file here on the local host but if it doesn't work you can create your uh, own virtual host again by click right left clicking on the uh, WAMP icon and then go to your virtual host virtual host management and then you will be directed here and then just select the folder of your host for example let's create another one here for example php test so here double click it and then click on the file location so copy this and then paste it here oh i mean name the virtual host first so for example at chat and then paste the path the path of the folder and then start and then click on start the creation of virtual host so it says here the files have been modified 
virtual host atcha was created so you can check it if it works so atcha so atcha and then php what is the name again php test so php test oh wait a minute let's check again so reload so it's supposed to look like this atcha and then php test so here so this is what it's supposed to look like once you have created your host so uh, you can create your own host or if you have problems with your port the default port you can create your own so guys that's how you install the applications i hope you were able to follow through the instructions and i'll see you soon if you have any questions guys please don't hesitate to leave me a message on my messenger or email me see you soon guys